So one feature that we're going to talk about today uh, in the Jira Service Management blog features demo uh, is the dynamic form builder that you can utilize within Jira Service Management to build some fairly robust forms that can really help your users um, fill out the information that's necessary for uh, the requests that they're submitting. Uh, this is going to differ from the standard request forms that come standard in Jira uh, Service Management. Essentially, those forms won't be able to surface additional information dynamically. Um, they're still fairly useful, but uh, these uh, dynamic forms might be able to surface a little more information and make the process a little bit easier for your users. So I'm going to quickly touch on what the re regular request form might look like, uh, and then we'll touch on the dynamic form builder. So this is going to be just your standard Jira service management request form. Uh, you're going to have a number of fields here that we can include information associated. I've just pulled up a request type here for reporting a broken asset. Uh, and we can include, you know, require fields, things along those lines. Uh, the only difference here is going to be that that information and additional fields won't necessarily surface dynamically. So we won't be able to guide our users through uh, their request type based off of what their request actually is. Uh, but you see here that we can just fill out each of these individual fields. And if we were to click send, we would see that uh, request populate associated. But let's go take a look at instead our um, dynamic form that we've built out here. And this is going to be under our get IT help. Essentially, it's just a catch all for our request form here. Um, and from here, we only see actually a few fields, but what we're gonna see is that once we fill out certain criteria, those fields actually, additional fields will actually surface uh, based off of the information that we associate here. So let's say we're having an issue with our device and then we see another field or another prompt uh, surface essentially saying what type of device. And then I'll select, you know, based off of that, I'll select, um, you know, additional, fields here. And then we see, you know, different things like messages populate uh, or additional fields to include additional information, essentially helping us gather as much necessary information based off of the request that the user is looking to submit uh, as we need. So if we look at the actual field itself or the form itself, rather, uh, let's go to our project settings. under forms here, and we're gonna see those forms that we have associated. We only have the get help one. Uh, if we had multiple, we'd see all of those surface there. And then we can kind of see the structure of how we've uh, built out this form, right? So when you uh, show what you're having an issue with, uh, then we surface additional fields dynamically, right? So um, if we include in this section that uh, we're having a computer issue and we show the section conditionally, um, then we surface additional fields associated to that. So it's a pretty uh, easy way to set up some fairly useful uh, dynamic forms within Jira Service Management that only make your customer portal a little bit easier to use uh, and hopefully more useful for your end users at the end of the day. So I hope that was helpful.